Welcome back. It is National Hawaiian Pizza Day. You know, some people like pineapple on their pizza, some people don't, but that's not the most important ingredient on a good Hawaiian pizza. Joining me now is a corporate chef at Jones Dairy Farm, Kate Conan. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. What is the secret to a good Hawaiian pizza? Jones Canadian bacon. All right, so it's about the bacon. Yes, you got to get sure. the good quality Canadian bacon. Absolutely. Or yes. There's different kinds though, right? There's many different brands out there. Um, when you when you buy Jones, which you can find in just about any retailer, we are the number one selling Canadian bacon in the country. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to find us just about anywhere. Um, but there's a natural smoke flavor. We don't use any liquid smoke. So that natural smoke flavor really comes through and we use a center cut loin. So it's a very lean product, Okay. high in protein. Um, it can be eaten right out of the package. We're obviously using it um, warmed on a pizza, but you can eat it right out of the package as well. So I'm looking over for this segment, right? I'm looking at the ingredients. Mm -hmm. I had no idea there was barbecue sauce on a Hawaiian pizza. That's the other thing that- I just figured that Canadian bacon and pineapple. And you can put it on with, you know, with a regular pizza sauce or a marinara sauce, but the barbecue sauce just elevates it a little bit, helps bring out all of those flavors. Everything works really well together with the barbecue. I had no idea. Yeah. Okay, um, so you've got the dough here. Yes. It, can we get the prepackaged stuff? What do you Absolutely. recommend? Absolutely, and that's what I have here today just because I know people are in a hurry. They're right. trying to get dinner on the table quickly. There's a lot of easy recipes for a homemade dough, so feel free to make your own or pick up one of those dough balls from the grocery okay. store, but this is fine too. Do you have any tips on, not the, on with the homemade dough mm -hmm. of getting the shape to stay? You know, like you're always trying to, I, you just have to, it's, if you have a good <laughs> recipe, honestly, and it, and it proofs enough or doubles in size enough that you should be able to spread it to the outside of your, of your, whatever you're putting it on, right. a pizza stone or, or your tray. It's always so <laughs> like all over the place. It is, it is. It, it takes a little practice. Okay. Sure. All right. Let's put this pizza together. What all you right. Got? So we're starting with our barbecue sauce and you can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you want. Um, up in the, uh, in the Midwest, we like our barbecue sauce a little bit sweeter okay um, I know there's other places that like it a little spicier eaten anything is fine whatever's your favorite and then we're using a mozzarella cheese you can use any kind of um, Italian mixture of cheese would work on here of course uh, a lot of times I just use up what I have left in the fridge so you yeah. can throw a little cheddar or whatever you have on here okay and then we'll do the uh, pineapple next okay and as far as peppers I'm using a green pepper you can also use jalapeno peppers if you like a little bit of spice it also Ooh. gives it a little color yeah it pairs really well with these flavors because again you're gonna offset the sweetness of the pineapple with a little bit of heat so that works really well got the recipe up for everybody too so you so can we'll do green celebrate pepper. today yeah and uh, again this is the number one selling Canadian bacon, so go out and buy some. It's absolutely delicious. Once you try it, you won't buy any other Canadian bacon. It's, um, it, you know, we're part of a company that is, we're based in Wisconsin, so right in between about Milwaukee and Madison. Okay. Um, and we're a seventh generation family owned company. We've been there since 1889 making all natural breakfast right. sausage and all these great products. So. We know what we're doing. <laughs> Sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> is that parm that you That's just put on? That's parm, yep, I put okay. on fresh parm. And then there's a little kind of secret ingredient here too. This is just whipped cream cheese. What? So oh. we're gonna add a little bit of creaminess to this and I just throw it in a zip top bag uh -huh. so that you don't have to try and spoon it out of the container. Um, you just put it in a zip top bag and then you can just put little dollops that. of this whipped cream cheese. It adds this another level of texture and flavor and creaminess on this pizza. So. We have our whipped cream cheese, mm -hmm. and then of course our star ingredient, which is our Canadian bacon. So that's none, wonderful. Like even that's not cooked beforehand. It's gonna cook with the pizza. This obviously. is it's fully I mean, it's fully cooked. It's fully so you're cooked. just gonna warm yeah. it. Yep, you're gonna warm it right on the pizza. Comes fully Absolutely. cooked. Absolutely correct. Right. Yes, yeah. yes. Great okay. source of protein right out of the package. Perfect. Yes, and if you want to know where to find it, like I said, you should be able to find it anywhere, but there, we have this wonderful product finder on our website, which is jonesdairyfarm.com. You click on product locator, product finder, and then put in your zip code. It'll tell you which stores okay. in the area um, you can find it at. And I know you're going to add a little bit of the Mike's Hot Honey. I mean, it's the yes. best part of it all. So I'll so let you finish that. You're going to bake that, yes. And then we'll bake it, have this beautiful thing. For more recipe yes. ideas, find out where you can find it. Head to jonesdairyfarm.com.